good evening as part of the today's session we are going to see a java program using which i just want to generate all the possible substrings of a given string that's fine so immediately a quick question that comes in our mind what is a substring so assume that you have a given an input a string from which if you are splitting it into a smaller parts of a string we call it as a substring so assume that the given string is a surendra so assume that you have a given surendra as a string the substrings are suren sur endra ra these are the substrings so from where these substrings are forming basically if you clearly observe the input whatever you are giving from the input these strings are forming so i need to write down a java program for if at all i have a given this a string what are all the possible combinations of a generating the substring all the possible combinations the program should generate and of course it should print down that particular information that's what our ultimate requirement is the whole thing i'm going to achieve using the two for loops okay using two for loops i'm going to achieve this particular logic that's fine let's go ahead and let us create a java program for that so here i'm creating a new java program for this a substring so just one second let it load so that we can create a program here yeah okay editor got loaded now i'm just creating a new java class all substrings with the main method i'm just creating it with the main method fine so what i'm going to do right now is maybe the given input a string string input a string is equal to surendra so this is the input a string that i am giving right now and on top of this i want to generate all the possible substrings so whenever it is generating a substring definitely i need to store that a substring somewhere right we have to store that substring somewhere so that's the reason what i am doing right now means i am creating an array list of a strings basically substring is equal to new array list of a strings so here into this particular array list whatever the newly generated substrings are there i will be adding here so that at the end of my loops you know the substring contains all the possible substrings here okay that's fine now what i am doing means for int i is equal to 0 i less than input string dot length so what i am going to do right now means this for loop i want to rotate it on all the values present in that particular string or i can say on all the characters present in that particular string and now for int j is equal to i plus 1 so i want to start this j from i plus 1 okay j is equal to i plus 1 again this j is less than or equal to again input string dot length and again j plus plus in java in strings basically we have a method to generate a substring which is input string dot substring method for this substring method you can give either the start index or you can give the begin index and as well as an end index so i am giving i as my begin index and j as my end index whatever it is being generated i am storing it in a string sub is equal to and i need to add it this substring dot add this is sub whatever the newly generated this substring is there using a substring method i am adding it into this particular substring and by end of the second for loop of course you can use this particular value to print it or even i can use a for loop to print that particular information so here for 
and k is equal to 0, k less than substring dot size method and a k plus plus. So here, what I'm going to do right now means substring dot get off k. That's it. I just want to get it. So system dot out dot print L and this information, I want to print this. So here, what are we doing right now? With the outer for loop, you are starting with an index as an zero. And in inner for loop, you are starting with an index as a one, basically. This will iterate. So when I run my test script as a Java application this time, it should print all the possible substrings, whatever the possible substrings are there, all the possible substrings from the given string got generated and it was stored inside a array list and it got printed down to the console using this particular for loop. Okay, here the key point that I have used is the substring method from a given string where in which the initial index I'm giving it as a first for loop and the second index, the end index, I'm giving it as a second for loop value. That's it. It will automatically execute the script. This is the way how exactly we can generate all the possible substrings of a given string. Thank you.